Hello, welcome back to our second part of our three-part series to introduce the MarketView API. My name is Sven Schörner. I'm the product manager for all MarketView products at Enverus, and I'm happy to have you on board again for our second part of the series. In um, the first part, uh, we talked about the business benefits of the API and the different signs uh, that could indicate that an API would be valuable for you. Today, we'll talk a bit about the implementation phase of the API, about the process from trying it out for the first time all the way to implementing it. And in the last part, we'll cover some advanced use cases and some expert examples to show you the whole uh, uh, yeah, capabilities and all the capabilities that the API is uh, yeah, able to cover. Yeah, as I said, um, how does the process work to implement the API and to try it out? Uh, that should be the uh, topic for today. It's a multi-step process, uh, starting with understanding um, the business problem and the business value, um, the business problem that you want to solve and the business value that the API would um, bring you all the way to actually uh, realizing that value and going live with the API. At first, of course, um, and this is covering a bit what we had uh, talked about in the first session, um, you need to understand uh, the business problem that you're trying to solve. Do you have a case where you have a lot of data, uh, a lot of market data that you need outside of the market applications in other systems, potentially even in multiple systems? Do you have repetitive manual processes to get the data into those systems? Um, are those uh, processes time critical? Are they repeated every day? Um, yeah, if you have those situations, then a, a, an, an API could definitely be uh, valuable for you and could help you um, improving those processes. Um, once you have identified those, it's time to to talk to us to um, yeah get a bit familiar with the get a bit more familiar with the API. Uh, we talked about the API documentation last time. Um, you can review the documentation, you can reach out to us um, with questions. Um, you should also then think about what would be exactly the use case uh, or the, the, the way how you would kind of use the API, in which frequency, uh, is it an end of day run? Is it a multiple, are these multiple runs that you wanna, wanna do with the API during a day? How much data do you need? Which granularity? Um, do you need a lot of history of the data with every run or just uh, the last few days and things like this, like uh, understanding what exactly your, 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 what kind of data you would actually pull through the API. To test all that out, uh, you could sign up for a free trial uh, and to test out the API, I will explain a bit in a moment uh, how such a free trial process looks like. Um, once you have access to the API as part of the free trial, you can play around with it, test it, uh, build some API requests, see how the API data looks like when it's returned and so on. And of course, ask us if you have any questions at this part of the process. So, um, if you're happy with the results, and I'm sure you will be, um, if, you, if the API will be able to help you and, and cover your business problems, then um, it's time to to yeah go ready take the next step take the next step go ready uh, yeah go live contact uh, the sales uh, account manager and uh, yeah uh, set up the API and then implement it and go live afterwards and realize um, the business value. I talked about the free trial briefly. Um, I'll give you an overview on how the the process works. Um, free trial is something that we have for all or that we offer for all market view applications, um, including, of course, the API. Um, if you're interested in the API, uh, for example, after watching this uh, video series, uh, you can contact us, uh, for example, myself or my colleague Jason, who I will uh, introduce a bit later. Um, you can also contact us through your sales uh, contact or even through support and let us know that you're interested in a free trial. We will also set up um, a free trial sign-up page uh, in the future where we can also just do this via website. So once uh, you have contacted us, once we initiated the free trial process, you will receive a, a welcome email with a trial ID and the password. Uh, you will need those two to actually yeah, activate the API. It's normally valid for two weeks, so you have a two weeks testing period. Um, if you need more time, we can talk about it, but normally it's two weeks. 
Um, in that welcome email, we'll also have some uh, helpful links for you. Uh, the documentation that I've talked about earlier in the first session and also a link to our query builder tool, which I mentioned last time and which you will see uh, later on. Um, that tool is, is a good tool to play around with the API in a testing scenario and um, it will help you understand how it works. And then, of course, as mentioned earlier, if, if you have issues, questions uh, at some point or can't get any further, reach out to us and we'll try to help you and um, answer those questions. Or we can even set up a training session or a little introduction session um, around the API if you are if you're interested. OK, um, now it's time to actually look at the API and uh, look at some examples. Uh, for that, I will hand over to my colleague uh, Jason Pirtle and he will uh, guide you through the rest of the presentation. Thank you, Sven, and hello, everyone. My name is Jason, and I'll be using this portion of the presentation to discuss the, how the Market View API actually works. The Market, a, Market View API is, uh, is a web service on the back end. Uh, what that means for customers is that it's easy to onboard. There is no SDK or special libraries or development environments needed to get going. Um, it's highly scalable to be able to manage the load of our entire user base. And it's easy to use. Um, and hopefully I can demonstrate that uh, through the rest of this presentation. There are different request types for different types of data and different use cases. Um, so what that means is Inveris uh, has millions of different data points within the MarketView platform that is available to customers. For instance, we some users may be looking to get NYMEX trade data. Other users might be looking for hourly ISO data. And all of these different types of requests uh, have, require a slightly different uh, format. They each have different multiple parameters and symbols and date ranges and output format, et cetera. The web service replies to the request by returning the data in the defined output format. So we basically support HTML, CSV, TSV, um, JSON, XML, you name it, we support it. So here is a very common use case for our customers. Um, a user needs open, high, low, and close values for WTI crude oil for the last 10 calendar days. Um, for those kinds of requests, the Get Daily API request, it should be used. So we have an example here that is all the parameters are color coded with uh, the text above to give uh, users a hint to what the parameters uh, mean. And below that, there is the output uh, this was ran a while back, and obviously this data is not 10 days ago, <laughs> but I can show you um, very quickly with an interactive uh, soft piece of uh, website we have that allows end users to get a feel for how our web service works. All righty. Um, so this is called Query Builder. This is available on our website for any market view user. Um, as you can see, it has a list of various types of queries, and each one will come with an example of various input and parameters and conditions in order to get the response. And what this does is really give end users a clue on how to uh, format these uh, URLs in order to get what they're looking for. So in that scenario in the presentation, we were looking for GCL or WTI crude, which in our system is called GCL. And we have the, the symbols that we discussed, open, high, low, close, days back, 10, output, CSV, and include my headers. Um, obviously, we need authentication to make sure that not only you are a mark of you user, but you also have access to look at uh, NYMEX crude data. So I'm going to go ahead and issue this request. Um, the first time you establish a connection to the uh, web service, there is a little bit of a delay for the first request, um, but after that, it's it's highly responsive. And I will demonstrate that once this data comes back. 
And again, if any users want access to this tool, feel free to contact Sven and he will do his best to give you a quick demo and get you access. Okay, so there's my data. Um, 10 days back, if you include today. So I have from the 11th to the 20th. And <clears throat> now let me run this again, just to show you that once I've established a connection, it, it's very responsive. Yeah, so hopefully that uh, was a good example of how a lot of end users will use our data. And I think I have one more here. Um, this is your typical example of uh, end user wanting to get ice, gas, oil, uh, forward curve. So we have a couple different requests for that. This one is the get daily curve API request. And you can see that I'm passing in my slash gas symbol with a curve date of four six. Um, um, the only fields I'm asking for in this uh, request is date and close. In this scenario, the date you're gonna get back is actually the contract date. Um, and so if you look below, and it might have been more clear had we included the symbol as the output, but below here, the 4-1 means that's the April contract. This is the May contract. This is the June contract, so on and so forth. And this is the closing price. So it will show you the entire curve as if today was 4-6-2021, um, which allows people to kind of go back and look at various trends over time. Who can I email with questions? Well, of course, uh, Sven and I will happily help anyone with questions. I think if you are just getting started and looking for more information and, and trying to get a demo, feel free to contact Sven. If you're a more advanced user or have some questions about <clears throat> security or complexity or anything like that, uh, I feel like you can reach out to me and I'll be happy to, to assist. Some of the key takeaways here, easy onboarding. I mean, that's obviously the, the biggest advantage to this web service is that you don't really have to install anything. It's just available over the internet right away. Um, usability, it's sort of the same thing as onboarding. Uh, it's very easy for users to get acquainted with our API and we have um, really good documentation and tools out there to help people. You know, scalability, uh, we're able to spread this um, service as many times as needed to handle the load of our, of our users. And, and same on your side, it, it creates a more scalable solution for you um, than sharing data in other ways. Maintainability, it's, it's fairly static. We don't, um, it's backward compatible. So if we do change our interface at all, it will always support the old interface and, <clears throat> um, users can rely on us. Security, stability, support, and compatibility. Um, these are all uh, important topics. I'm not gonna go into each one, um, but I'm happy to discuss them at any time. I know our support team is very familiar with the web service as well, so they, they are also there for your guys' help. Um, so that's it, I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to watch this presentation. And I hope that we've interested you in, in maybe signing up for a demo or a trial and, and trying to see how this software or this web service can really help uh, you leverage the data within our system. Thank you very much.